this little final stretch. We're, we're in the final stretch. Uh, I read this article. This was kind of a cool article. Nice little step forward um, into empowering the middle class here. Uh, Bob Moore of uh, Red Mills Natural Foods. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen them around. I've seen them around the grocery stores. I've seen some of their, their, their products uh, uh, around in the grocery store. Uh, they're always a little too expensive for me to purchase. Um, and it's always like raw oats and stuff like that. And I, I like when I'm on the road, it's just hard to, it's just hard to cook that stuff. Um, so it makes it a little bit more difficult to cook that stuff. So I never really buy them. I should, I should eat more of that sort of stuff. Like I don't, I don't really particularly mind it. Like if I bought some raw oats, uh, maybe some, some honey, uh, and maybe, you know, some chocolate chips some nuts and kind of made my own oatmeal, brown sugar, uh, whatever it is, I have a big fucking sweet tooth. I think a lot of people fucking know that about me. But uh, you know, if I if I did that, um, I would. Uh, I you know, it just probably puts me in a better better health situation. But I just don't have time for it. But anyway, Red Mills Natural Foods. Um, they switched over to an employee ownership model for their for their company, and uh, basically uh, the way that this works is that employees. Can own, um, they can own a portion of the company after after three years of working there. Uh, that's that's sort of how that, that this guy is kind of running his his business now. Is after three years of working there, you become uh, you you're, you're 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 kind of like a board member, essentially, right? And this is this is an idea that's been talked about for a long time. Dr. Richard Wolf. Uh, that's where I first heard of an idea like this uh, of of um, employee ownership. Uh, you you have stake in the company. You are part. The employees are part of the board, essentially, of the company, and it's not just a bunch of, you know, rich people sitting in a smoke-filled room having eyes wide shut, meaning about how they can make more money and fucking the working class. It's um, the people that work in the company have a say in what happens with the company. That's. Uh, that's the way that uh, that this one really works out. So, uh, the big thing that uh, uh, they talked about was employee the employee stock ownership program or the ESOP program, and it's basically once you once you work there for three years, you can you can uh, jump into this, and it is a retirement plan in which the company has a trust for its for their employees. So when you retire from that company or or if you have to quit or get transferred or or whatever happens you have a trust you know so let's say you work there for 20 years um, and you were in this ESOP program you might have twenty thousand dollars from the company and uh, because because you are part of the means of production because you contributed to the labor you contributed to the company making money you get some of that money back especially when you're in a situation um, where you know you are you are running through a transition or um, you know you are uh, you're you're retired and you don't really know where you're going I mean this is a kind of a big deal American corporations don't do this you know, they give you a 401k, but you can't touch that 401k till you're fucking 65. So if I have a if I have a, a major emergency, and boy howdy, can I really use that, you know, ten or twelve thousand dollars that's in that 401k? And, and maybe I don't even need all of it. Maybe I only need maybe I only need 500 bucks of 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 that. I can't touch it. I'll get penalized for it. This ESOP program says no. You have a trust. This is your money. You get to fucking do what you need with it. You're in a tough. You're in a tough spot. You're in a bind. Uh, we got you. Red Mill's got you. You're part. You're part of the. You know, corporations always talk about being part of a family, but they don't ever really do fucking dick all about actually treating you like family. But this this Bob Moore seems to seems to be doing that. This is a step forward into um, uh, into pushing it into more, you know, worker-owned co-op models um, of, of, uh, of the workplace here. And 
some of them, uh, you know, it's like they they just receive the cash, uh, and some sometimes the the payouts from from what they're saying is the payouts can be substantial, is what they're saying, like huge amounts of uh, of money, especially when you retire. It, it, you know, depending on how long you work there and how much you put in, you know, how how much time you put into the to the to the company. Um, and really, what this is is it's democratizing the workplace. Um, employees gain control of the means of production. That's really what it is. And uh, they have a voice in the company. They have a voice in uh, in what's going on and what in uh, um, what the company's future is and what the company's present is. Um, you know, it's not just some CEO, CFO, or whatever coming coming down from on high and saying hey we're moving this factory to mexico and everybody goes wait a minute hold on a minute what's up why can we look at some reports are we really doing that bad i feel like we're busting our ass every day here making more things producing more things how are we producing more things and not making any money what's going on where's that money going this kind of a program uh, where the employee has access to uh, the annual reports, to seeing how well the company is doing, to have transparency within the company that they work for, um, it gives us a little bit more control, a little bit more power in the workplace. And it makes people hate their jobs less, too, you know, it, because it, 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 it helps... It helps people see that uh, perhaps these companies give a shit about you. Perhaps the guy that runs the company actually cares about his employees and wants his employees to be successful and taken care of. Uh, this is this is a, a step in the right direction of what I think should be the future of uh, future of workplaces in America. It's just to know that that you have somebody that gives a shit enough to to take care of you. That, I think, is the future of, of workplaces in America. Hey, what's up, everybody? Thank you guys for checking out that video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up uh, and uh, hit that share button. Share it out to uh, a friend. Share it out to an enemy. Share it out to anybody you think would enjoy content like this. Uh, content like this doesn't get uh, often get shown to a lot of people because it's controversial material. Uh, so, uh, you know, it, it, I really depend on, on people liking and sharing it, uh, it with friends, with groups, with people that are going to appreciate something like this or get something new out of this. And, and please make sure that you are uh, liked and subscribed to my page, to my channel, um, because sometimes they, uh, uh, they, they remove people. Uh, or, they, or they just don't show it to people that are even subscribed. So just double check to make sure that you are. Uh, and uh, uh, I have live stand-up comedy dates. Uh, if you like the content that I put out, the videos that I'm putting out, uh, I talk a lot about the sub similar subject matters in my live stand-up comedy show. A lot about organized religion, uh, historical anecdotes, competition, late-stage capitalism, stuff like that. So uh, worker rights, uh, you know, taking Jeff Bezos down a couple pegs uh, and uh, if you want to come see me perform live stand-up comedy uh, I am going to be in uh, Houston Texas New Orleans Louisiana Biloxi Mississippi Memphis Tennessee St. Louis Missouri Des Moines Iowa we just added Des Moines Iowa to this tour uh, Moline, Illinois, Chicago, Illinois, Indianapolis, Indiana, and much, much more. Uh, I'm going to be touring uh, all over the country, including uh, doing dates with my good friend Lee Camp, who has released his brand new book and is doing a book release and stand-up comedy tour that I have uh, the honor and privilege of opening uh, up for. Uh, so go, uh, go, go, go! Check out Lee. Lee's tour schedule as well because I'll be on tour with him. Uh, we're coming to uh, Flagstaff, Arizona, Tucson, Arizona, Asheville, North Carolina, Greensboro, North Carolina, Atlanta. We're going all over the place. Uh, dates are available on my website, ramennoodlescomedy.com. That's R-A-M-A-N noodlescomedy.com. 
grab your tickets, RSVP to these events, come hang out with us. Uh, and uh, you can also become a patron uh, over at patreon.com slash krishmohanhaha. That helps the quality and quantity of these videos and helps me put out more content more regularly, helps me uh, be on tour uh, more concisely, uh, more uh, uh, more smartly. Smartly, is that a word? I don't know if that is, but it, it, it helps me get out uh, on the road a lot more and hit different parts of the, the, the country that I don't uh, regularly get to hit so uh, I can build I can build tours uh, smarter and, and uh, better than I am now and I and, and, and I, I appreciate all the people that have already become uh, patrons um, and uh, another way you can become a sustaining member is via Bandcamp by becoming a, uh, a subscriber and a follower on Bandcamp which gets you uh, collections of stand-up unreleased to the public which includes storytelling shows, which includes shows where I, you know, rift a bunch of material, uh, sh with uh, uh, you know, collections with material that never made it on an album, early versions of uh, my, my shows, fringe festival versions of my shows uh, that can be slightly different than the final cut uh, of uh, all the material that I put out. And you can also contribute directly on my website. So if you follow this video on my website, if that's where you watch this video you can you'll probably see a little orange button uh, and if you click that you can become a sustaining member directly on my website once again that's ramen noodles comedy.com that's r-a-m-a-n noodles comedy.com thank you guys so much for tuning in i really really appreciate you guys watching i really really appreciate everybody that subscribed i really appreciate all the people that are sharing these videos um, get getting the word out about them, coming to the live stand-up comedy shows, uh, and hanging out and getting weird and esoteric after the shows. I really appreciate you guys a whole lot. It means a whole bunch to me uh, that you guys are, are, are supportive of what I'm doing. Uh, but till the next video, uh, we'll see you on the road. Bye, guys.